hello, hello, everyone. Happy Monday. <clears throat> and the table's gonna jiggle as I add the water. I'm choosing to do the light one first. Ooh. This water is very, very, very runny. <clears throat> this will probably be the last time I use it. Hopefully it will support the paint tonight. All right. I like to use it until it won't work anymore. The, uh, oh, what's it called? The, um, Seaweed powder, that's what it is. It's kind of expensive, so I like to get my money's worth out of it. Let me get my apron on so I don't get my shirt messy. Please say hello when you pop on. All right, there we go. All right, let me put the other one in here. Hi, Gloria, and then I will... Um, do introductions. Hi, Diana. Ugh, these things are so heavy. I bet there was a day when I would think they weren't that bad, but now that I'm old. Hi, Myonia. Try not to lean it on the, uh, the tank. So it doesn't shake the table too bad. Thank you, Diana. I almost forgot to get water. I came in here to get things set up and then, excuse me, realized I forgot the water. So I had to dash outside and grab it out of the refrigerator. Okay, now I need to check one thing. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Happy Monday, everyone. Hi, Lee. Hi, Juanita. How is everyone today? Welcome, welcome. Let me uh, find this on my iPad. Let's see. Oops. Let's see if I can... Locate the uh, live. Yeah, I put on my iPad most recent. It gives me something from 22 hours ago. All right, let's see. There it is. Found it. Let me pull this curtain open. Let a little more light in. Okay, I'm ready, guys. Ooh, I should not do that. Whew, that did not look good. Sorry about that, guys. So, welcome, everyone. I'm Linda Anderson, owner of Aqueous Silk, LLC, and I am a water marbling artist. If you have not already liked and followed my page, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do that, as well as sprinkling out the video. And trying to grow my business and you sprinkling out the lives is very, very important and it helps grow my page. So I thank you for that. And tonight we are going to um, be marbling some hats. Now I know I have, oh, I forgot to check the name. One moment, good grief, you'd think I could remember. Um, let's see, there we go. I 
and it's going to spin, spin, spin. Okay. Well, hello, Katie. How are you tonight? Welcome. So I'm, who am I making my hat for tonight? I can't find the post. I'm going to do a couple of them. I thought I could just find it. Oh, here, maybe over here. Yeah, Lee, I thought it was you. Perfect. So we're going to marble a special request for Lee tonight. And um, then I have a couple others I'm going to do. Yes, I almost forgot. I thought it was you when I saw your name, but then I was worried that I was not remembering correctly because my memory lasts about this long. It's terrible. So <clears throat> I have the colors set aside already. So I used, <clears throat> pardon me, I used, um, I'm so happy you're here, Katie. Thank you. I like catching yours as well. I love the turtle. I didn't get to watch it, but I saw you post it, and it's adorable. So I used um, these colors on one more. The one project last week. And I pulled aside some similar colors in the other paint that I like a little bit better. Hi, Val. So um, this is the light turquoise. And then I have the dark one. I have the two blues. And I have white. So it's up to you if you want me to use the exact um, <clears throat> colors that I used in the other one last week or if I can use these others. These are a little bit more vivid colors. Hi, Margie. Is Rachel here? Hey, birthday girl. Everyone wish Rachel a happy birthday. Her birthday was yesterday. It was a milestone birthday for her, so definitely say happy birthday to Rachel. So, Lee, let me know what you think. They wouldn't be exact same colors, but the same color, almost the same colors. Very similar. Let's see, I just, yeah, that's that one. So, and if you... If you are so inclined, you can hit the stars button and give me some stars. That always helps me with my giveaways. There we go. Happy birthday, Rachel. Definitely. It's a big one for her. So, um, we'll wait. Let's see if I can find my colors. You know, every time I do a show, I can't find the colors when I'm at the show, and then I can never find them when I bring them home. So I'll wait and see what you wanted to do. Okay, Lee. Whenever you are ready, see if I can find it again. I had to click off. And if you are so inclined, also say a prayer for my brother. He's undergoing shoulder surgery tomorrow. He's not a bit worried, and I get so nervous. I hate medical things. The teal with the blues. Yep, I have, I have all of those right here. So let me see if I can find the live again. Now that I clicked off of it, it'll probably never show up. So did everyone have a wonderful weekend? We had a show Saturday. It was meh, it was okay. I it was okay. It wasn't that terrific. Um I 
I was mortified. I had a pair of custom shoes that um, a client had dropped off for me to mar or prep so she could marble them at the, thank you, Myonia, um, at the show last week. And so I brought them. They're all taped off. They're all ready to go. And I was getting ready. She was there. She'd made her, you know, all of her paint was in the tank, ready to go. And I turned around with the shoe and it went flying out one of the shoes into the tank. Luckily, the way it hit, it did not marble on, it marbled on the sole, but not on the um, top of it, but it did get the top wet. Once an item is wet, you can't marble it. So I had to go, I'm so sorry. And then she has to wait until I'm there in two weeks to marble her shoes. I felt so bad. I do not know how I even manage that. It was just like, oh, it was awful. It was just awful. So Lee, do you want a little bit of black in there or no? I don't remember what the paper looked like. I have the black in the tray, but that just may be from transportation between um, the shows. I kept all the blues in this this tray since last week. So it was a, it was a Monday today. My day job went fairly quickly. I was pleased about that. Before I knew it, I looked up and it was eleven o'clock. So that's always good. And then I got to do a little creative items at work and during my lunch hour until I was interrupted and had to do work stuff but so that made it nice a little black is fine okay this is what we're gonna do then so when I get the paint on here Lee if you don't like it you can tell me I'll take it off and we'll do the other so I'm gonna turn you down so you can see what's happening so hold on we're gonna go for a ride Hi, Cheryl. All right, let's see if I can tighten it up and get it to stay in place. Hopefully that's a pretty good view. Okay. So as usual, we're, hi Sharon, as usual, we are going to start with white. And if I miss your comment, I apologize. Um, I don't see everything on my iPad that I see on the phone. And when I'm looking down, I miss some. So please don't be offended. So let's let the white do its thing. It's a little bit thick, that's why I'm getting these dots. It spreads well, and I don't want to thin it down anymore, so I'm just going to give it a minute to disperse. But yeah, today wasn't too bad. I thought the traffic was going to be horrible coming home because it was kind of thick going in this morning. But it wasn't terrible. until I get to one certain spot, and it's always bad. But it was not terrible. Okay, let's add a little bit of the black. We don't want a ton of this. I think that black's just gonna make, help the colors really pop. Okay, let's add this one. Now let's add a little bit more black. It's just really getting pushed around. It won't add very much. All right, let's put in a blue. Now let's do a light teal. Make sure it's shaken up really well and mixed. And I already have paint all over my hands. Okay, 
And then I have some light blue. Here, let me pull this light down a little bit better. There, let's see if that's a little bit better. I had that one dark spot in the corner. Okay, what do you think of that, Lee? Those colors. Do you like those colors? Hi, Shelly. Hi, Patty. Thank you, Shelly. Let's see. Do you like the colors, Lee? Do you need a little bit more of the dark? turquoise because this is the dark turquoise here outside of that one let's put and then this let's put a little bit more of this if that's okay so let it do its thing Hi, June. Welcome. So I'm just going to freestyle this, if that's okay. I do have the comb, if you'd like it combed. What do you think, Lee? Let's see. I had it here yesterday. Everything's all discombobulated from... Uh... Oh, there it is. I know where it is. You want it freestyle or combed? Had to look around a minute. I forgot where I, I knew I put it somewhere. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. No comb. Freestyle. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm thinking I'll put the top right here so this swirl will be right on the front, if that's okay. Do you like that? Look at my hand already. Oh, this must be the dark corner over here. Okay. Let me grab the hat. All right. Simple white baseball cap. Water's cold. And there's that swirl right there. So I'm going to throw it in the rinse bucket. move the rinse bucket over so I don't have to drag the water all the way across the carpet. Let me get the board.
There's hardly any black in it at all. It just really got pushed out of the way. There's some tiny little black lines. So there's a tiny bit of black there. There's a little bit of black over here, a little tiny line right there, and a little swirl right here. But there it is. I hope you like it, Lee. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Oh, it does kind of look like a heart on the front, doesn't it? And looking at it in the screen, it looks so different. So that's just tons of fun. It's very pretty in person, Lee. I hope you like it. So let me get it in a bag. Oh, good. I'm happy about that. That makes me happy. Wait till you see it in person. Okay. There's that one. I remember I have these pants on, guys. And uh, I forget that the drawstring is not in them anymore. So I start moving and they start creeping down. So I'm going to have to stop and pull up my pants. I need to get uh, some elastic and put in it or something. Alright, drying off the board. Okay, I'm going to remove the rinse bucket and put in the, uh, the cleaning bucket, the trash can. So, we have beautiful weather today. It was like 78 on the way home. It's a little windy. But um, it's just very pretty out. We're supposed to get up to some end of the 80s this week. And probably snow next week, the way it goes here. Okay, now the next project is going to be super duper fun. I have not decided what colors... I'm going to do for it. I'll show you what it is before I start. Okay, I want to do this one more time. That teal is very strong, so I want to make sure it's all out of there. This live tonight probably will not be super long. So I'm just mixing in any teal or black so it won't show up on the hat unless I want it to. And now I made all kinds of bubbles so we need to remove the bubbles. So is it summery anywhere, or does everybody still have spring weather? All right, I think that's good. These little bubbles won't matter over here. There is a little drop of paint, though. I get these little bubbles of paint. And they just, I can't pick them up. So I'm going to pop these bubbles. All right, so now I'm going to go get the hat and I'll show you what I'm doing next. So I got this really cool hat. Oh, 94. Oh my goodness. In South Carolina, you have humidity too, don't you? And 90s? Ugh. So this is the hat I'm going to do. I don't know if you can tell the shape. It might be too close. I loved the shape. I actually found this at a grocery store. Yeah, I agree, Shelly. 
and it had a black ribbon around it so once it's marbled should I choose to put that bl solid black ribbon on here I can it was just tacked on you can actually see where the glue line is so I'm pretty certain that's not gonna marble so I'll probably put that ribbon back on there but the shape is amazing I was racing through the store getting something else and I saw this hat and boy it was in the basket with no in no time I loved the shape great summer hat protect your little ears I always try to wear baseball caps and then I get the tops of my ears sunburned so I just what colors should I marble that keeping in mind that the ribbon is a solid black any color suggestions Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Lee. So throw out some suggestions. What would you like to see that you think would look pretty on that hat? And I can't see if anybody's commenting because I can only see on my iPad some of them. <laughs> oh, you know I was thinking pink, Shelly. But I thought I would throw out some other options in case there's somebody else who, who doesn't care for pink or has a better option. And we could do... If we wanted to be super bold, we could do nice, vibrant colors, pink, green, and yellow, fluorescent pink, fluorescent green, and um, a bright yellow. Let's see, what else? Anybody have any ideas? Oh, see, olive green, beige, and black. Olive green. Let's see. I don't know. I tried to make an olive green. Let me put this green in there. The pink, yellow, and green. I just feel that that's nice and bright and summery for summer. I want to see what... I thought I had a, a more of an olive. Yellow's white and white with a black ribbon. Ooh, that would be pretty. Let's see what this green is. I thought I, no, that's not olive at all. I thought I made a, an olive green. Green gold. I'm pretty sure I did. I can't find it, though. Yeah, well, I think maybe pink, black, and gray. Do the bright ones. That's kind of a deep olive. This one has a lot more blue in it than this one. Okay, let's do the bright colors. I think that black ribbon will look very pretty on the bright colors. So let me get my white. I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. All right, here we go. Yep, 
The other straw hat that I did a while ago, I sold that not this past weekend, but the weekend before. So I didn't have any left in inventory. So I thought I better, when I saw the shape of that one, I thought I had to have it. Had to, had to, had to. So let's let that disperse. This makes me slow down and not hurry, hurry, hurry. Add a little bit of black. I can do that. Let's see, I just had it in my hand. Losing my mind, ladies. Losing my mind. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Okay, so that has dispersed now. So we'll do the... Yellow is my least favorite color, so we'll do that first. So it can be pushed out of the way and just be an accent. And then I'll add a little bit of black. Now some green. Look how green that yellow looks in there. There's a fluorescent green. I love this fluorescent pink. Where is Becky Jones? Look what I have, Becky Jones. Fluorescent pink. I didn't have that when I made her hat, but I had a nice bright pink. Oops, it needs some more. Look how much that shrunk up. That yellow is so strong. So let's add some more here. And it made a bubble. Look how much stronger that green is than the pink. Now that makes me angry that it just, well, there it goes. It's shrinking back up. Let's go with this. I'm gonna get the bucket over here already. Even the napkin's pretty. Just freestyle any way I want to move this paint. All right, let's see. I think I want the front of it to go up here, and this can be the back. Whew. Almost dropped it. Now here we go. Let's see what this looks like.
Here's the front. I squished it when I was prepping this. I squished it all up into um, the bucket that I prep them in. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to need to shape it when I pull it out. But when I pulled it out, it just popped right back into uh, form. Now there's a little bit right here that there's no color. And on this side, I, my tub must be just a smidge too narrow. But it looks really good other than that. I don't even think, it almost looks like a design detail. Because it's on both sides. So now I'll put it into the bucket to rinse it. And then I'm going to pull it out and put it on the board and take it and set it in the bathtub. So all that water can run out. Thank you, Liz. I love the shape. And next time I'm at the store, I may have to get another one. Now these hats are much more expensive than my ball caps. It's sitting right there. And I'll show you when I put the ribbon back on how it looks. I have um, a request for a 10 yard roll of ribbon and um, I've got to do that in my great big tank. So I need to um, do, uh, thank you, Lee. Thank you, Myonia. I need to make some fresh water and do it in my big tank. And I'm also have a, a, gosh, my words are failing me today. Uh, kitchen towel that I'm gonna do so I can't wait to do all of that because I need that in my bigger one it's a pretty good size one I can't remember what they're called they are called flower sack towels so I have some of those and I'm anxious to see how it's gonna marble Look at all that pink that's down under the water there. You can just see a hint of it right underneath the surface. And that's okay. But I still want to kinda, there's a bunch of it right here on the side. So I'll just mix it all up. This water can be just almost absolutely black and the hats will still come out the correct color. Let me just mix all of that up in there. Anything that's sitting up on the side, because the color will cling to the side of the container. Okay, now I'll pull the bubbles out. All right, there we go. Pull up my britches, they're falling down again. I like these pants. They are like a t-shirt material, so they're not quite as warm as sweats, but then they're but they're not, you know, capris or shorts or anything. They're just about the right weight for right now. Just popping some of these bubbles. Now, I definitely want to use blues on this next one. No teals, just blues. So, let's see. This 
think I'll just use all of my blues. Whoops, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. This one is. I usually try to ke always keep a blue hat in my inventory because blue is such a popular color. And I realized it was pointed out to me this past weekend that I don't have one. It kind of surprised me. Let's see. Not that one. Not that one. This one? Not much in this one. Okay, here's all my blues. This is going to be all of them. So I think we'll start with this. Um, it's a cobalt that I mixed, so it's a little bit lighter. We're going to start with that instead of white. Remember, if you have not sprinkled out the video, I would certainly appreciate that. how far that spreads. It doesn't want to come out. That's probably good since I have so many colors to use. Hey, this one, we'll use this one. Ultramarine. Okay. Cerulean blue, is that how you say that? I could be all wrong, but it's a pretty color. We'll do um, a little cobalt. Okay, let's do some. This is a dark ultramarine, so I mixed it with a little bit of black. Look at that one push. Let's see if anything pushes back. And this one, I don't know what colors. This was before I started labeling. Makes it very difficult to mix again when you forget to label them. Let's do a little bit of Prussian blue hue. This one's almost empty. No, you're not supposed to squeeze, but this is so empty that I'm not gonna get any out of it if I don't squeeze. So this will turn into just little fine lines of this color. That goes in the remix pile. All right, we have one more, and this is called Indigo. Now I want to put in some more of this blue since it got pushed.
All right. So there's all the blues. All the blues. And now let's swirl this around. Now the thing you have to think of is you don't want your um, the lines too tiny. You want to be able to see your colors. You know that's my opinion. I've seen them come out that are quite pretty with fine lines, but it really depends on your piece, in my opinion. But you. You want the pretty movement. All right, I think we're done. So I think I want this in the front and this in the back. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. I also have visors. If you're not into hats, here's I do have visors. They're the same price because they cost me the same thing as a hat. So they're they're eighteen dollars. Hi Cindy. Hi Julie. Hi Tammy. All right. Hey Angela. How are you? Okay, so here we go. Now, I think if I did this again, I'd add a little bit of white, but it is very pretty. I just like a pop of white to really set off the colors, but it is pretty. Let me get it rinsed. Heaven's sake, I have teal clear up on my arm, right in the bend of my arm. So this one is definitely for the blue lover. Let's see. Let me find something I can rest it on. I forgot I took the uh, board away so I could uh, put my other hat on it. Let me use this. This one is a broken lid. And I'll put it on a towel because this lid looks a little dusty. So there's the front. All rinsed. Here's the back. I think once this dries, it's gonna be amazing. And I think I wanna do one more with some blues and white, because I think I want to bling one out. So let me go get this one. Um, well, let's see, let me put it in a bag. Let me go grab a bag. get this in a bag so I can rinse it again. What I'll do is rinse it one more time and then I'm going to hang it up. Oh, we've got blue everywhere. Um, I'll hang it up and let it dry. With as warm as it's going to be, it shouldn't take very long to dry at all. Okay, so now I get to clean this out. 
So I know I want this blue and some indigo and white. I think I'm only going to use three, maybe four blues. Oh, they did? Oh, that's wonderful, Juanita. Thank you for telling me that. That just makes me happy. Okay. Again, if I miss your um, comments, I apologize. I almost missed that one. Those are so fun to make. They're just a blast. I enjoy it so much. I'm going to mix it around a little bit. I've been trying to decide. I love lilacs. We have, uh, we're trying to get a natural hedge slash fence line is going to be all lilacs. We bought our house. There was no yard at all. And so we put it in, and I keep trying to see if my lilacs have bloomed, but I don't know if I missed it or they haven't bloomed yet. I am famous for missing them. Because I get home and dash in the house and eat dinner, and then I get busy. Forgetting to look. I'd rather do this than yard work. Okay, let's pull out the bubbles. Again, this water has been used. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, there's some around here that are. Hi, Pamela. But, you know, they all come on a little bit different. I have several varieties. So I don't know. I may have just missed them. I need to trim my fingernails. I keep getting color under my fingernails, especially after paint pouring. I still have green on my hands from last week, and I've been scrubbing out on them. Okay, here we go. I am starting with the white this time. Tonight will be a fairly quick uh, clean up because I'm just going to empty all this. When I feel um, strong, I carry it out and I put the water on my flowers, on my lilacs. This seaweed is a good fertilizer. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Tonight is hat night. We're doing all kinds of hats. So let's see. I think I'll start with the darkest one. And I've got water all over here. That hat dripped on everything. This is a beautiful blue. In the right light, it has a little bit of purple in it, but a deep, uh, a dark indigo kind of does have that. Ooh, these two are very similar. So I might need to add one of the other blues. 
Oh no, this will do it. There we go. Okay. Let me get another paper towel. I wish you all could experience this. I love moving the paint. I know I say that all the time, but I truly do. But And I didn't even mention my bean boxes tonight other than to thank um, Juanita for bringing it up. If you don't know what a bean box is, it's a custom baby um, gift set. It includes a custom marbled Receiving blanket, a burp cloth, a bodysuit, an, an embellished sleep sack, some little sneakers. You get to pick the colors, and then I marble the set. And so I actually, the, the uh, receiving blanket is hand done. The burp cloth is handmade. The embellishments are, I put them on myself. And the sleep sacks are so soft. And the sneakers are adorable if you have not seen them. Let's see. Here is one, one shoe. They're little Converse lookalikes. And I have fun making them, and it's all quality. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's do it this way. I wish my hands were just a little bit bigger. Hi, Marilyn. See, the, see that indigo? See what a purpley color that looks like? Oh, that's pretty. Do I say that about every single one? I think I do. Into the water. I wish I had some more of those uh, straw hats. Washing some of the blue off my hands. So let me get out the, the lid to put this on. this up here put a towel up to set it on so blue was the color of the night other than the um, the straw hat No worries, Marilyn. You can catch the replay. I'm almost done for tonight. Here's the back. Sorry if this is too close. And I will rinse it again. <laughs> I know, I love them all as well. So I need to go grab another bag. And then I'll give you a preview of the three ball caps we've done. The other one is sitting in the tub drying already. So when you, when you marble a hat, the only thing you have to do when, when I send them home with my customers at a show, they're in a Ziploc baggie, just like you're going to see here, just like this, and then you rinse them again and hang them up to dry and your hats are ready to go. 
So this is the first one we did. This is teals and blues. This one belongs to Lee. I know it's in an icky bag. I will do a video when I get them all hung up. It's so hard in the bathroom, such bad lighting. I wish I had a clothesline, I can hang them outside. And this one is all blues. There's no white in this, and really no white showed through. It's all blues. And again, you can see that indigo has a little bit of a purple tint to it. And then the one we just did. So I like having a little bit of white in there. I don't mind the all blue one either. Well, this is so fun. I could sit and do all the hats I have. That probably would not be a good idea. So let me clean that off. See, you can see it picking up the, the design that's left behind, that ghost print. Thank you, Lee. I'm very happy with all the way all of them turned out. And I'll take you in and show you the big hat if you promise not to judge my messy bathtub because it's all from marbling. I've got to scrub it out here pretty soon, but I haven't done it yet. So hold on and let's go for a ride. I'll bring you back up. Hello. We can hold this. Get it secure. Take out the charger. All right, let's not drop the phone into the tank. All right, so we're gonna walk in here and then I'll turn you around. This is totally, I've totally taken over this bathroom for my marbling, unless I have a guest and then I have to clean it out real quick and make it look presentable because it doesn't right now. So let me um, turn you around. Bad bathroom lighting. But there's that fun hat. I'm not gonna touch it and turn it or anything, but see, I've got color all over the place. See that all the, the color is everywhere. And it washes right out. When I scrub it, it washes right out. So there it is. Okay guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for those who have sprinkled out the video. And uh, all of you for taking the time to watch. I certainly appreciate it. And don't forget, I'll see you Thursday night for craft night. Um, we're going to work on that tumbler that I poured. So we're going to do that. And I may do one other thing. I haven't decided yet. So take care. I'll hope to see you Thursday. And Lee, I will, um, when your hat is ready, I will um, let you know. Thank you, everyone. Bye.